decided to take a little road trip adventure today, so driving closer to like the Payson area. Look at that guy's prime spot over there, camping. gonna go here for lunch La Sierra Chris said he's been here before and really liked it it's been raining like drizzling and I'm loving it it's so beautiful right now the weather and here's the dust storm right here yeah, we're about to have a huge dust storm. But I wanted to show you the rainbow that's connecting all the way around in the well, back of our house. Some of that lightning in the clouds? It's crazy. I don't know if I am. I was just showing the rainbow. Mm. All right, so we're home safe now and I'm actually going to make breakfast for dinner because um, we're not feeling like something super heavy after having that really yummy Mexican food for lunch today. That was so good. You guys probably know by now that that's our love language. We love Mexican food. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be making the artisanal Belgian waffles from wildgrain.com. Remember that amazing Italian girl's dream box that was sent to us? So look at, let me show you these waffles. Oh my goodness. They look so amazing. So I'm heating up the oven right now and then I'm also gonna make some scrambled eggs. So I just got a very exciting package in from Caraway Home. And if you have not heard about this, I'm surprised because it has been all over TikTok and Instagram, this cookware set. It is non-toxic, environmentally friendly, and also still um, really easy to cook with because the ceramic that it's made from is an easy slick surface. So everything is supposed to come out clean and easy still. Um, so let's unpackage all the goodies that's in this big box and see what we've got so i chose the gray set because of course that matches with our aesthetic more but they have a bunch of fun colors that their cookware comes in this set has everything you will need for cooking pretty much anything um so i'm gonna as you can see everything's really nicely packaged individually you're one step closer to cleaner cooking, that's cute. So everything is individually packaged really nicely, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, undo this and show so you. Here you can see the lids were all really nicely organized and they have this um, organizer that you can hang with these hooks onto the back of your cabinet so that you can organize all of your pots and lids. So you can always grab for it easily. Look at these beauties. I cannot wait to cook with these tonight. Got a saucepan, a fry pan. Looks like a little bit of everything. Okay, look at how gorgeous this set of cookware is. Oh my gosh. And you guys know I have gotten more and more excited about cooking in the last few years since I've been cooking for Chris and when Gavin and, the, and Lexi are with us. And i just been loving it. So having a really nice professional set of cookware like this is getting me super excited to cook, cook for tonight. So I'll definitely have to cook something tonight and let you know what I think um, about this beautiful new cookware from Caraway. Let's see. First test. Woo, one beautiful egg. And slid right out of the pan. And these are all the items that come in the caraway package, the set, a saute pan and lid, sauce pan and lid, fry pan, the Dutch oven and lid, and two little trivets and the hooks and racks that I showed you all set up 
in my area. So I can't wait to keep trying these out this week. Skin doctor appointment. Just parked at work. It is Wednesday. I was just listening to Machine Gun Kelly and um, it was featuring Kid Rock, the bad mother effer. That song, oh my God. Anytime I listen to that song, I get so pumped. And yeah, if you don't mind cursing, you need to you need to listen to that song. It's so good. If you love Kid Rock and you like Machine Gun Kelly. I don't know what it is about me. I have such a weird, like eclectic taste. I'm all over the place. And right now, Machine Gun Kelly and who else I've been listening to a lot? Chris Brown, his new CD, um, Drake's new CD. So I've been listening to more rap lately for some, I don't know, I'm just on that kick right now. And I always feel like a bad mother ever after I listen to that song, okay. But, oh, other thing I wanted to tell you. I am loving lip oils, tinted lip oils this week, and I just found out that Jaclyn Hill came out with some, and I might wanna try them. They're supposed to be at Ulta, so maybe after work I'll take you guys with me to Ulta. Look what came in the mail today, and someone is very excited, right, honey? Is this your bark box, honey? She totally knows. All right, it's pool party. Pool party animals is the theme this go round. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Look at this booze hound juice pouch, margarita little squeaky toy. Hold on, honey. Mommy will give it to you in a second. Oh my gosh, a little rainbow unicorn. You can love that one, tiny. Yeah, hold on. And then a super soaker. Oh my gosh. They are so creative. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Okay, and then all treats. We've got some cheesy peasy cheese recipe. You're going to love these, honey, huh? Where's Lucy? She usually is eager for the... You see her out there? Just chilling outside. <laughs> um, also, wakey wakey soft bakes, bacon and oatmeal recipe. Yay, we love those ones. You ready to eat a treat? Okay, hold on, honey. I know, I'm torturing you. I'm sorry. Almost done, honey. And pumpkin and honey recipe, chew sticks. Okay, 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 let's get one. There's all the other ones that could we could have gotten, but I'm going to give her one of these treats for being such a good girl. Trying out this chicken tikka masala from Costco. Mama B actually recommended it to us. So that is cooking in my new cookware, which I'm loving so much. Everything just cleans right off. It's amazing. And I put a little bit of the rice in so far, but this is like a lemon rice. So that's what we're having. You're not having any boo. <laughs> so we had to take the scenic route home today because there was crazy accidents. So I thought I'd share with you guys how pretty it is out here. Yes, this is our drive home. <laughs> <laughs> at least for work. today. At least for today. <laughs> we get the scenic route, but it's so pretty. Our wild and crazy punk rock Zoe's here today. Yeah, good girl. She's eating a peanut butter bone. Yeah, very good, honey. Good girl. <laughs> Look at her tail. All right, guys, you are gonna come along with me on a little shopping adventure. So first I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works because I cannot get over how cute all the Halloween stuff is right now. Oh my goodness. So I want to go and explore that with you guys. I'm gonna film while I'm at the store. And I also happen to have a birthday gift card. So I'm gonna use that while I'm there. And then I'm gonna go and pick up my birthday gift at Ulta and Sephora. And I might take a little sneak peek and see if they have the Jaclyn Hill lip oils. So, come along with me. All right guys, off to Bath and Body Works for the first step of our adventure today. They have 13.95 candles, it looks like, and they should have all their Halloween out. So let's go see.
might fall because I don't really have you plop, propped up very well but I wanted to share with you guys what I got at Bath & Body Works. I mean nostalgia. Are you feeling like a little bit nostalgic right now? Because we're gonna do a car haul. <laughs> if you've been with me for a long time here on my channel I used to do car hauls all the time because girlfriend used to be spending more money <laughs> and going hauling a lot more than I do now but all right. Okay, there was so much cuteness, you guys. How was I supposed to resist, okay? So first of all, I did not get the candy apple. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. There was one that kind of looks like a candy apple, like the poison apple from um, Snow White. But I've been hearing a lot of critiques that the hand is all like misshapen and that a lot of them are not like really good quality. And they're not cheap. They're like 18 bucks or something. So I decided to go with this adorable one. Do you see that? You kind of do. It's out of focus, but see how there's like a little bit of a sparkle? So this lights up and it looks like this. When it lights up, I just thought it'd be so cute for the decor. So this is for a wallflower, obviously. Um, and then I got some pocket bags and I can't wait to use them on my purses. They're so freaking cute. So I couldn't choose between these two. So first you knew I had to get the blingy ghost. Freaking so cute and it's gonna look so cute on my purse. So you put the little pocket back in here. Let's see, which one am I gonna pick? I got Vampire Blood, Too Gourd To Be True. This is obviously more of a fall one and this is more of a Halloween one. So let's go with the Halloween one because, oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. Spooky. Okay. And then I'll, I'll put the fall one in this one. So here's the other one I got. So last year they had one very similar to this. Um, but that it did not have a jack-o'-lantern on it. It was just like plain like this. Um, and it looked like a little, looks like a little pumpkin spice latte. And another vampire blood because the these pocket bags were five for eight. So I just ended up getting couple more enchanted candy potion now I believe this is a new scent um, it smells very sweet so I like it and vampire blood actually smells pretty sweet too I'm gonna use some because I just was in the store and might as well and the girls always are stealing my hand sanitizer at work because mine smells good and the one at work we have is like you know the basic one mm, yeah that smells good it smells kind of sweet too then I got a vampire blood candle. Look how cool the imagery is for the Halloween candles this year. You guys saw the other ones too. They had like four of them, I believe, but look how cool that is. And I love the red, dramatic, bloody looking um, candle. And then look how cool this lid is. You see those little bats? That is so cool. And it smells so good. The notes are, Blood red strawberries, midnight blooming jasmine, and dark Transylvanian plum. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. I just caught a whiff of the leaves. <sighs> it's heaven, the leaves wallflower. I am so ready for fall scents. But currently at the house, I am burning through some of our summer scents still, but I cannot wait to have these out. So I got three leaves, vampire blood. Look how cool that imagery is, so fun. And then enchanted candy potion for my beauty room. And last but not least, I got five foaming hand soaps because we were in need. First is Stardust Magic. And this one, does it say the notes on this? Vanilla and Secret Musk and Caramel Swirl. Um, celestial Caramel Swirl. <laughs> Cute. I think Chris will really like this one. So that's why I got that one. And then I love this scent, Ghoul Friend. 
and I love the imagery again and the fun color and the dark matte black on the top. Isn't that cute? This is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. Pretty much it's a fruity scent and it's really delicious. Oh, I also got ghoul friend in the pocket back. And then we have perfect pumpkin. Another ghoul friend. And then look how beautiful this is for the beauty room. And that's so pretty. Enchanted candy potion, that really sweet one. So the notes are spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. It smells a lot like um, like strawberries and cream, something like that. Yeah, it's like a it's not too overpowering of a sweet scent, but it's really nice. And I actually really did like the um, sweeter of the two new fragrances they came out with, new um, body products that they came out with. Okay, what is wet? What is leaking? All right, you guys, I'm gonna get one of these attached to my purse. I'm thinking, which one? It's probably too, is it too early for Halloween? I kinda don't give enough. <laughs> you guys are not ready for this freaking cuteness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so freaking cute. I don't care that it's too early, I don't care. All right, guys, next stop, Sephora. To get my birthday gift and maybe be a little naughty, we'll see. Anybody else get stuck with the little minis? Get me every time. Holy heck, is it hot out, you guys. Um, if you were wondering, it's 114 outside. Ding. That's how I feel right now. I got a Sephora bag. Uh-oh. I was nodding. Hey, it's my birthday, and I had to finish off my gift card. I had to. Okay, by the way, already got two compliments on Mr. Ghosty because he's too dang cute. Okay, I went a little ham at the Sol de Janeiro area at Sephora because they have so many cool new products. They have dry shampoo, and I actually looked it up on Sephora.com on the app to see if it had good reviews. Four out of five stars, so decent reviews. Um, and it smells just like amazing coconut paradise, just like their body spray does, which you guys know I love the Bum Bum Cream. I love their body sprays. I love their... Um, what's it called, conditioner treatment, deep condition, conditioner treatment, but I didn't get that today. I got all new stuff to try. All right, so I got that, and then I also got their aluminum-free deodorant, because it smelled in incredible, like so, so good. And I'm always looking for a good aluminum-free deodorant that actually works, and this got four and a half stars on their website, so we'll see. And last thing I got from the Rio, or the Sol de Janeiro, collection was their concentrated perfume. Now, I wanted to get the full size, but it was way too expensive. And so I decided to get this um, smaller travel size. Um, I believe this was like 20, it's, mm, where is it? 26 for this rollerball. And, but it's not a rollerball because it's a spray. Um, see, and that's why I ended up getting it because I really like it's just so nice and sleek too. Look at that. It smells so freaking good. Ooh, the spray is like really nice and light of a, of a mist too. Mmm, it smells just like the spray, but I'm hoping that it's gonna last longer on me. Um, and I just love this. It's like one of my signature scents. This like paradise coconutty scent. And then here is my birthday gift that I picked out. The Amica Beauty Insider little kit. So let's see what this has. It has a soul food nourishing hair mask, a perk up dry shampoo, and a flash instant shine mask. It's a cute little travel set. It says happy birthday friend. Look how cute that is. Can you see that? Okay, I got two more little small size items that I told you I get stuck in that mini area. Now, I've been wanting to try this and I've heard such amazing things about it, but I didn't want to invest in a full size until I tried it. And this is the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray for, that magically transforms texture and amazing humidity proofing powers. So this is supposed to really help um, with a frizz, with humidity, with like your hair getting puffy and crazy. 
and I have that issue with humidity and we've had an increase in humidity here in Arizona so it's kind of apparent how frizzy my hair is today I had to put it up it was just too much I couldn't deal with it so I just put it up and then I haven't even heard about this mascara um but it's new from Tarte the big ego mascara and I wanted to purchase a full size but then I was like why you don't know if you love it and you're gonna be disappointed so if you don't love it so look it matches my nails this is like this hot neon pink and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the applicator because I'm gonna start using this mascara right away anyway um, but it, it looks very similar to the Too Faced hourglass wand and um, the, they're better than sex mascara which I love so much so this is supposed to give crazy amounts of volume so I will let you guys know when I start trying it out but that's it that's it from Sephora and now off to Ulta to get my birthday gift there and to see if they have the Jaclyn Hill lip oils next stop Ulta well that was super annoying they didn't have any birthday gifts they ran out so I did look around. They also didn't have the Jaclyn Hill lip oil. So I'm going to go to a different Ulta. I think that's a sign. Don't you guys think? Let's go to one more. So here is the birthday gift from Ulta, the Lancome Lash Eye Doll Mascara. I don't think I've tried this one before, or maybe I have, but a very long time ago. So excited to try this mascara out. And then as you guys saw, they did have the lip oils. I'm so happy. So I ended up getting two shades because it's my birthday and I freaking deserve them. <laughs> so I got Rose Drip and Candy Drip. I would have gotten the red that they have but they didn't have that color um and then I also got some more powder I haven't used this one in a while but it is one of my favorites the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation I got it in true beige 130 I'm pretty sure this is my color so we will see all right that's enough for my shopping <laughs> today but I'm gonna put one of these on right now I'm thinking probably the rose drip and show you guys how it looks on all right so this is rose drip and it's like a beautiful baby pink and just gave me a little bit of color, but really high glossiness, and it's not sticky at all. Um, yeah, so far I really like it. I hope it doesn't break me out, because lip oils can sometimes break me out around my mouth, so I am going to have to be really careful with these and see how it does, but so far I really like it. Okay, I think I like Candy Drip better, um, because it has a little bit more color payoff, and it's not too crazy still. What do you guys think? Gives me a little bit more color. I think I'm going to like the other one, the lighter pink for days that I'm not wearing any makeup. Today I have, you know, quite a bit of makeup on, so I felt like I needed something a little bit more. Wow, wind, wind blown hair even, too. Mama B. Amir. Look at my girl Tacona for her birthday. It's coming up. Thanks, Mama. Yeah, we're having a little girl's day in our pedicure and sushi date. They're little fizzies. So cute. We're at a different Bath and Body Works, and look how cute these ones are for the soap dispensers. It's a little shark, and it makes noise too for kids to wash their hands. And there's also a little crab. So cute. So we did end up getting these. Mama B got one, I got one, and we got one for um, Haley too because they look pretty good to me. I don't think the fingers look deformed or anything. Someone online said that they didn't think they looked very good, but I think it looks really good. Um, and I just couldn't resist. It's too Disney-esque not to get. Yeah, it's Snow White How cool Witch. is that? Yeah. 
That's what happens when it lights up. She's in heaven right now with her massage. <laughs> So the kids are over and we're having dinner and I'm editing the vlog, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that next Sunday is my birthday at July 31st and we are going to actually be away for the weekend, Chris and I, so I will not have a vlog go up next Sunday. I'm taking the day off for my birthday and I think you guys will understand that. So I will have the vlog up next weekend. It'll end up going up on Monday or Tuesday, the following week past right after my birthday. But if you want to follow along with all the fun that we have um, in Pine Top over the weekend, next weekend, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll be talking all my stories there. But thank you guys so much for watching this week and I'll see you next week. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty.